In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve rate of change problems with derivatives. This is question two. The question reads, the voltage applied to a 2.85 microfarad capacitor is represented by the equation V for voltage is equal to 1.47 T to the power of two plus 48 decimal three T minus 38.2. Find the current when T is equal to 2.50. To do this question, we'll need the following formula, the current in a capacitor, which is represented as I is equal to the capacitance times the rate of change of voltage with respect to time represented by dt. Now, in case you're not familiar with what capacitance is, capacitance is a measure of the amount of charge a capacitor can store. This is determined by the capacitor's geometry and by the kind of dielectric between the plates within the capacitor. What we have to do is find the derivative and then substitute 2.50 into that derivative and multiply by the capacitance, which is 2.85 times 10 to the power of 6, because this is microfarads. Let's go ahead and do that. The derivative will be represented by V prime, and that's equal to 1.47 times 2 T. And what I did here was use the power rule. And to use the power rule, you take this exponent and multiply it to the coefficient and subtract the exponent by 1, which is exactly what I did. The derivative of 48.3t is simply 48.3. And once again, I use the power rule for that. And the derivative of negative 38.2 is simply 0. Taking the derivative of a constant always gives you 0. Now that I found my function, I need to evaluate this when t is equal to 2.50. And the way we represent that is like this. V prime at 2.50 is equal to 1.47 times 2 times 2.50 plus 48.3. I'm going to use my calculator to do this. 1.47 times 2 times 2.50 plus 48.3. That gives us 55.65, 55.65. Now to be consistent with the equation that they provided, let's not use V prime anymore, let's just use dV over dt. So this is equal to dV over dt. My last step is to substitute this value into here and multiply it by 2.85 times 10 to the power of negative six. So our current is equal to 2.85 times 10 to the power of negative 6 farads times 55.65, 55.65. Our final answer should have its units in amperes, which is the letter A. Let's use our calculator once more. Taking this number and multiplying it by 2.85, times 10 to the power of negative 6. That gives us 1.58 times 10 to the power of negative 4. That's in scientific notation. Now, if you want to represent this in milliamps, you can do that as well. To do that, you multiply it by 1,000. So multiplying this by 1,000 gives us 0 0.159 milliamps. And that's it. That is how to solve rate of change problems with derivatives.